The Veeam Explorer from Microsoft SQL is a great tool to be able to restore a backed up database to its original SQL Server or even a separate SQL Server if needed. You can also restore to a local folder, a network drive, or even use its quick and easy one-click restore option. You can even restore SQL tables. Now, another great feature is to instantly publish a point in time state of any backed up database to a selected SQL server for something like test dev. The great part about this is it's pulling it straight from the backup file. Another great feature is to be able to export a point in time state of any backed up database to a native .bak file. This is new in update four and SQL can read this directly and be able to restore it very easily. Let's take a look at a demonstration. You see we have the Veeam Backup and Replication Server interface already open. In the bottom left, we start in the Home menu. In the upper left area, we select Backups and then Disk, and then expand VMware Veeam Explorers. Below, we see ATL SQL 2016 Prod. This is our SQL Server disk. To the right, you'll see the menu Restore Points, and this will show us how many restore points for each one of these disks. Currently, the SQL Server has 19. When we right-click, we can go down to Restore Application Items and then select Microsoft SQL Server Databases. From here, you will see those restore points we talked about earlier. Now, I can choose either Restore from the latest available backup, or in my example, I'm going to select Restore from this restore point and select two days ago, 3.05 a.m. Now I select Next, and just as good practice, under Restore Reason, I'm always going to type something. Select Next, and before I finish, I always want to double check at the top here to show that the restore point is the one that I selected before. And in this example, this is the one that's two days ago at 3.05 a.m. Tuesday. So now we know we have the right one selected. We select Finish, and now the Explorer launches. This Explorer is going to attach to the database file inside the backup file and be able to read it without having to launch a virtual machine or an operating system to be able to access this content. Now, as you'll see on the left side, it shows us the server, the default instance, which is a collection of all the data beneath it. And I'm just gonna make this simple and select Word Automation Services. I know this is a smaller file, so I'm gonna use this as my example. At the top, you will see Publish Database as an option, Restore Database, Restore Schema, Export Backup, Export Files, and Export Schema. If I right-click, I get those same menu options at the bottom. I can publish this to a different location. When I select Publish To, you'll see that it gives me the option to restore at the same point selected of the image level backup, or beneath here, if I chose, I could restore to a different point using the slider bar. When I select Next, this is where I can select my target server. We're not gonna focus here yet. We also have the option to restore the database to a certain point to this server, or we can restore to another server. We can also just restore the schema if we chose back to the original database. Beneath that, we can export the backup export files or export the schema, and all three options give us the, the desktop or another folder location. As you can see, very convenient to be able to put this where you want. I'm gonna show export backup. This is a new feature in update four where we can actually export this in the native SQL format of back. So I'm gonna select export state to the desktop. This now mounts the restore point. And from here, we're gonna grab that content and be able to put it on the desktop as a restore point, as a BAK file, easy to find, but again, in that SQL format. So it goes through the process of starting the agent on a specific port. Now it's copying the files. Once again, it was a very small file, so it was very, very quick to copy it over shows here that it's cleaning up after dismounting the restore point and shortly after this menu it'll show completed let's minimize the background interface so we can show you that database exported successfully and i'll click ok and here on the desktop you will see that we have the dot back file exported to the desktop 
That's the end of the demonstration. Thank you very much.